Pastors, multiply your church instead of coronavirus. The current crisis. This month it is coronavirus. In the future, it may be another epidemic, a revolution, or an hostile invasion. Your weekly services are cancelled until further notice, perhaps for weeks, maybe for months to come. Your staff members are advised to avoid contact with church members and others. Your church members are frightened, worried, angry, or bored at home. Your day schools are closed until authorities give permission to open after weeks or months. Your funding has been reduced and you may not be able to meet staff salaries. Not to fret. The Lord Jesus has led his churches through many such crises and he is not caught by surprise. Strengthen and multiply your church. You may video record sermons and put them online, but that does little or nothing to provide for ongoing life as a congregation. So, besides recording messages, minister to hundreds through small groups. If your members have small groups, then remind them to gather as usual, provided they feel safe doing so. If members have no small group, then plan with your staff members to start new groups this week by coaching willing men, women, and youth as provisional group leaders. If small group participants choose to avoid gathering together, then instruct them in how to do so online by video or by conference call. Seek to start many new groups. If your current method of recruiting and training small group leaders works well for you, then stop this video now and go do so. Otherwise, empower new volunteer leaders who prove that they can get others to gather in homes at other venues or online. However, do not assign members to a new group where they do not like or trust its host or leader. If new small group leaders have no experience in leading such groups, then go lead the group once or twice only to demonstrate how to facilitate approved activities. Meet with small group leaders weekly to hear their reports to help them plan group activities, to practice implementing those activities, to learn lessons, and to pray for their group's success. Remain available to coach and to advise small group leaders whenever they want your help. Approve of small group activities. Small groups will thrive as long as members know that what they are doing honors the Lord Jesus by obeying His commandments. Worship God by everyone giving thanks, singing, sharing testimonials, reciting verses, and praising Him. Pray one for another according to each one's needs, fears, and opportunities. Love each other with kindness, listening to them, pronouncing blessing, and meeting urgent practical needs. Give money, food, or objects to meet urgent personal or family needs. However, let staff members advise on the use of money. Read Bible texts and discuss together what participants learn from those texts. Give a short, prepared Bible lesson and talk together about it. Celebrate the Lord's table in a way that the pastoral staff approve. Baptize those who come to faith in Jesus through small groups. 
Keep on multiplying small groups after the crisis has passed. Let small groups continue to gather, calling them little gatherings within the big congregation, or daughter churches of their mother church. Plan with small group leaders how to grow and strengthen their group. Cast a vision of small groups starting new groups whilst training new leaders for them. Watch for small group leaders who demonstrate spiritual gifts to keep on starting new groups as volunteers or paid staff members. Finally, assure everyone that they will keep on gathering as the body of Christ during the next crisis in small groups or online.